Hi, this is Bilal and this lecture is based on nutrition of bacteria. So as you know very well that in my previous lecture I discussed the growth of bacteria in which we discussed different factors which are affecting the growth of bacteria like we discussed temperature, we discussed pH, we discussed osmotic concentrations and we discussed different factors. Now even this factor, the factor of nutrition can affect the growth of bacteria. Now as you know very well that we have nutrients and in nutrients we have some macronutrients, we have trace elements, we have micronutrients. So in case of macronutrients you have carbon, you have hydrogen, you have oxygen, you have nitrogen, you have phosphorus and you have sulfur. Similarly in case of trace elements you have molybdenum and in case of micronutrients you have sodium, you have iron, you have calcium, you have magnesium and you have zinc. So we have macronutrients, we have trace elements, we have even micronutrients and bacteria need these nutrients in some specific amount. Now the thing is that why bacteria need these nutrients? So actually bacteria need these nutrients to make carbohydrate, in order to make amino acids, in order to make you know lipids, vitamins and growth factors and even to make RNA and DNA. So bacteria need these nutrients in some specific amount with respect to their need to make carbohydrate, to make amino acid, to make lipid, vitamins and even to make DNA and RNA. Now this thing is very important that even on the basis of nutrition we can classify the bacteria or we can categorize the bacteria. But before classify the bacteria on the basis of nutrition you have to remember three things and that three things are very important in which you have factor of energy you have factor of CO2 fixation, you have factor of electron source. So we have some bacteria which are getting energy from light and even we have some bacteria which are getting energy from chemical. So those bacteria which are getting energy from light, these are known as phototrophs. Similarly, we have some bacteria which are getting energy from chemicals and these are known as chemotrophs. Then we have factor of CO2 fixation and this factor of CO2 fixation is very important because we have some organisms which can do the CO2 fixation and even we have some microorganisms which cannot do the CO2 fixation. Now what is CO2 fixation actually is? CO2 fixation is the conversion of inorganic CO2 into organic form like it can be C6H12O6. So actually those microorganisms or any organism which are making their own food it means that they are doing the CO2 fixation so this CO2 fixation is very important step and CO2 fixation is actually the conversion of CO2 into the organic compound which can be C6H12O6 now those microorganisms or those bacteria which are doing the CO2 fixation these are known as what autotrophs and those microorganisms or those bacteria which are not doing the CO2 fixation, these are known as heterotroph. So here you know very well that uh, usually we have concept about autotroph and heterotroph that autotroph are those bacteria or those organisms which can get their own food and heterotroph are those organisms which are depending on others for food. Actually this thing is true but in a broad term or you can say that in a broad concept actually those organisms which are doing the CO2 fixation are known as autotroph because in order to make their own food they have to fix the CO2 first of all but those bacteria which are heterotrophic bacteria they are getting carbon uh, or you can say that they are using some organic compound as a source of carbon so here you have to distinguish the autotroph and heterotroph in that way and here again one thing is very important that it is not necessary that always CO2 fixation will occur in the presence of light. It may occur in the absence of light. So this thing is again very important that it is not necessary that you always need light in order to do the CO2 fixation. Even in the absence of light you can do the CO2 fixation. Then we have factor of electron source. You know very well that in eukaryotic cells as well as in case of prokaryotic cells we have electron transport chain and in that electron transport chain we need some compound which are giving electron to the electron transport chain and this compound can be an organic compound or it can be some inorganic compound 
For example, if in case of bacteria, if it is some organic compound which, uh, which is giving electron to the electron transport chain, then those bacteria are known as, you know, organotrophs. While on the other hand, if some inorganic compound is giving electron to the electron transport chain, then in this case, we have bacteria which are known as lithotrophic bacteria. And even we can classify the bacteria on the basis of that three factors into eight categories in which we have photo, auto, or canotroph. Actually, these photo, auto, or canotroph are those bacteria which are getting energy from light because they are photo and they are doing the pseudo fixation because they are auto and they are choosing some organic compound as a source of electron in electron transport chain due to which they are known as organotroph. Similarly, we have photo auto lithotroph as they are photo auto lithotroph then it means that they are choosing sunlight as a source of energy and they are doing the co2 fixation but they are choosing some inorganic compound as a source of electron in electron transport chain then we have photo hetero organotroph actually these photo hetero organotroph are getting energy from light but they are not doing the CO2 fixation and on the other hand they are choosing some organic compound as a source of electron in electron transport chain. Then we have photo-heterolithotroph. So actually these photo-heterolithotrophs are those bacteria which are getting energy from light but again they are not doing any CO2 fixation because they are hetero. And lithotroph means they are choosing some inorganic compound as a source of electron in electron transport chain. Then we have chemo auto organotroph. Actually, these chemo auto organotroph are getting energy from chemicals because they are chemo and also they are doing the CO2 fixation because they are auto. And as they are choosing organic compound uh, as a source of electron in electron transport chain, due to which they are known as organotroph. Similarly, we have chemo auto lithotroph, which are getting energy from chemical and they are doing the CO2 fixation, but as they are lithotroph, then it means that they are using some inorganic compound as a source of electron in electron transport chain. Then we have chemo hetero organotroph. Actually, these chemo hetero organotroph uh, are those bacteria which are getting energy from chemical, but they are not doing the CO2 fixation, and they are using some organic compound as a source of electron in electron transport chain. Then we have chemo heterolithotroph actually these chemo heterolithotroph are those bacteria which are getting energy from chemical but they are not doing CO2 fixation and meanwhile as they are lithotroph then it means that they are using some inorganic compound as a source of electron in electron transport chain so this is all about the general introduction about this photo auto organotroph photo auto lithotroph and so on now we will discuss the detail in upcoming lecture